further up the west coast main line on the Trent Valley. So the title will be M6 Warsaw to M42 Tamworth West Coast Main Line Trent Valley. So we are just going over the bridge over the area of Great Bar. And uh, Great Bar is also known here by Queslet. Also to our uh, 
uh, left hand side is of course the Ford Shopping Park which is known as the Ford Retail Park and Outdoor Shopping Centre where you've got all the different brands um, so there's the Ford Shopping Park just right there to our left uh, hand side there we've got the largest uh, travel lodge hotel at Fort Donbar. It does remind you of like uh, a bit of Manchester or a bit of Orlando because the design of the building as uh, Orlando and Manchester do tend to have larger scale hotels and also offices to let. So as you know we're heading uh, all the way across the M6 as far as the Trent Valley at Tamworth. And, um, we will soon be uh, turning off uh, in 2.5 miles and we will be heading onto the M42 uh, towards uh, Tamworth. The M6 continues further on as far as nearby Corley area and then goes into the M1 all the way down to London and going that way you've got the uh, connection to the Billing Aquadrome and as well as that the Gulliver's Kingdom well Gulliver's Land of Milton Keynes because Milton Keynes is also uh, down on this route so you've got Milton Keynes and then of course you've got uh, the lovely uh, of course, London. But however, we'll be heading north east, heading towards Tamworth. Now, on this part of the motorway, you, you probably might know why there isn't services because there is no call for it because the nearby services on this motorway is, of course, Corley, and that's further down. But we will not be seeing that but you might spot some on the M1. And the video after this will just start from East Midlands Airport all the way to Doncaster. So anyway, here we are just approaching the junction right now for the M42. So we will be uh, leaving the M6 behind. The M6 will, will turn off and will carry on down towards London and also for connections to the Birmingham Monday International points. Airport. Keep left to M42, then keep left. We're now keeping left as we are heading towards Tamworth. So we will be heading out of the West Midlands and into Staffordshire, also in part with Warwickshire, as because Tamworth is actually in between Staffordshire and Warwickshire. We're now heading to keep the M42 to for the north, the M1. Keep left. For the north and the M1. So, here's our junction now for the M42. Northeast, M1, Northwest, M6 Tom, and of course, miles. Tamworth. Keep left onto M42. Now, as you know, we're now going on to the M42, the orbital motorway around Birmingham. The M42 commences in Bromsgrove and goes through, through various locations such as Wiggle, which is in Worcestershire, in part of Worcestershire and also Solihull. Keep left onto M42. We are now on the approach to the turn off to the M42 North. We can see the sign North East M1 North West M6 toll and of course Town. Drive 1.2 miles, then keep right onto M42. In one mile, keep right onto M42, then keep left. We're now coming towards the M42. There's a brown 
tourist sign approaching. This is for the Belfry Golf Centre and also Drayton Manor Park, which has been one of the popular theme parks, of course, in Tamworth area. And of course, you've got the Kingsbury Water Park. There is a bus route that actually covers this section. It's the X16 from Birmingham to Belgrave, the Tamworth Station. to M42. But that service only operates one, one trip a day. So that means heading to Birmingham in the early mornings and then heading back into Belgrave in early evenings. Keep it was previously operated by Centre Buses right. and is now operated by Diamond. In 0.5 miles, keep right onto M42. We're now going to be keeping right onto the M42 as that direction is for the M6 toll. Keep right onto M42. Drayton Manor Theme Park, the Belfry Golf Centre, Kingsbury and Lynchfield. miles on M42. And also some Coalfield. And this is also for the 75 service from Birmingham International to um, uh, some Coalfield. So then, here we are. We are now heading out of the West Midlands through Staffordshire and we'll be heading to the East Midlands. And by the time we get to the East Midlands, we will soon be knowing that we will be closed to East Midlands Airport. Because East Midlands Airport is actually on this direction. Now, East Midlands Airport is not classed as a larger airport. It's actually designed an airport that you might think of Orlando Sanford in Florida. Now, originally, East Midlands used to do Sanford flights, but they stopped long haul flights because they wanted to focus on more European flights. As more uh, international flights tend to go from Birmingham, Manchester, London Gatwick, London Heathrow, and also Glasgow, but only services from England, which are the main airports. So that will be Manchester, Birmingham, and Glasgow. also Doncaster, uh, Robin Hood, and also uh, Newcastle as well, I forgot them airports as well, but usually it's the major airports if you want to get bigger flights like Virgin, it's either Manchester and Heathrow. Previously Gatwick, but the, no, no Virgin flights go from Gatwick anymore. Anyway, here we are, we're just heading along the the M6 now, so, uh, well, M6, M42 right now, and uh, we're now heading into uh, the Trent Valley area now. So here we go right now, and we will resume when we get to nearby East Midlands Airport, and do it all the way up to Doncaster. attraction that you'd first see when people go to Drayton Manor is of course the iconic apocalypse the iconic drop tower with five towers there are sit downs stand ups without the uh, well stand up with the floor and the stand up floorless which is the fifth tower so tower one and two are sit downs tower three and four are stand ups with the floor and tower five stand up with no floor at all and apocalypse has attracted loads of visitors to Brighton Manor um, as its number one uh, best attraction so anyway uh, we're now heading away from the Brighton Manor area now and we're heading up towards um, the East Midlands and just coming up we have a service station which we're not stopping at, uh, which we don't tend to stop these days, um, 
which is Moto Services, which is actually a hospitality company on the motorway. Uh, Moto uh, uh, has uh, loads of different facilities. You've got a WH Smith, which you'll find at every motorway service stations. You've got uh, Burger King, which you might find in a variety of areas. Uh, there's a Marks and Spencer's Food Hall, uh, which you also find at some, and also uh, a Costa Coffee. And there's always a petrol station, and there's even a Greggs. The Welcome Break services offers like uh, Burger King, Starbucks, uh, WH Smiths, and Waitrose, while Road Chef offers uh, a spa service, um, a spa, a McDonald's, a Costa Coffee used to offer a pizza us and also welcome break as Harry Ramsdale's. So anyway here comes the first service station of the day. We're coming to Tamworth Services. So anyway here's Tamworth Services just coming up right now and Moto Services is one of the popular uh, service companies. It's a good hospitality uh, service station. Uh, of course, of course, as we know, we love Moto Services, especially going to the one at uh, Chiefly, which is down the A34, and uh, also by the M4, and even the one at Cherville Valley, which is on the uh, uh, which is on the M40, and also frankly, services on the M5. So anyway, here we go right now, heading in the direction towards. Uh, Coast Mainline right now, so I will see you later. 